Rachel, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna come back to my roots. The last couple of vlogs have been crazy. Obviously, I did my activewear line and we've been doing photo shoots and going to Byron. And today, I just wanna bring it back to original Desi. Oh, thank you. It's okay. It was a bit awkward to walk with. <laughs> a usual day in my life is pretty much like cooking, healthy food, working out, banter with Curtimus. We're gonna try and have a nice like work-life balance again because lately we've just been working so much. We need to bring it back a little bit. And then I also have so many things to update you guys with, like not only with my active wear, but with my health. Today's just gonna be a bit of an update vlog. I can't multitask, I can't vlog and cross the road, so you're gonna have I'll to tell see you. my eyes. I'll tell you. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so this morning we woke up, we cleaned our apartment a little bit because we had some stuff to do. And now we're gonna go for an ocean swim to start the day. Really good for the soul, good for the mental stress. When I wasn't sleeping very well, people were saying how I should use magnesium spray. And one thing I researched is the ocean is actually the world's strongest source of magnesium. So once you dive in the ocean, it can be absorbed straight into your body. So for a while there, I would go for an ocean swim before I'd go to bed and it really, really helped me. But lately, I've been so busy. Consider this my magnesium hit. You oh, kiss. you can kiss my forehead. No, kiss my lip. I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Don't die or get eaten by a shark. Oh, no. Kurt is gonna go for a surf. So while I'm just chilling here by myself, like a loser, on the beach, That's talking it. to a camera. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Who cares? Hashtag at confident normal question you. I don't have a hat and it's really bad. I forgot it. Normally I'm really good. Normally I'm really sun safe. You know, we were running out the door and I forgot it. First update of the vlog will be about my cervix. So just to bring you up to speed if you are not familiar with what's going on with my life. A couple of months ago, I got my pap smear results back. So I have SIN 3, which is high grade cervical dysplasia. I went and got a biopsy, a colposcopy, all this stuff and he wanted to operate. So obviously I wanted to see if my body could heal itself on its own because if you have sin one if you have the lowest grade of what I have your body can actually overcome it by itself and heal itself so I was hoping that maybe if I ate in a way and supplemented in a way that supported healing that maybe my cervix could heal itself I talked to my gynecologist about it and he gave me two months to try to heal it on my own and that two months is almost up for the last couple of months I've just tried to be like super healthy and so my next appointment with the gynecologist is the 20th of April and so I'll let you guys know them but I'm pretty sure he's gonna go in and do a colposcopy where he like looks at my cervix and also a biopsy which is when he takes a little bit out and then he will let me know if I need to get surgery or not so fingers crossed but whatever will be will be Honestly, I was just craving a sandwich, more specifically a tuna sandwich. Two pieces of paleo bread, a large tin of tuna. I know it doesn't look too beautiful, but I just like bigger portion sizes. Leftover vegetables that we have in the fridge because we literally have no ingredients right now. And then to zhuzh it up a little bit, I put some tahini, hummus, and apple cider vinegar in there, as well as pepper, chili, and salt, just to make it a little more flavorsome. This is like reward time. Not that the beach wasn't reward time, because after our breakfast, we did some emails. I had my fruit and nut mix that I made at home and then I had some kombucha as well. So now we're gonna go for our little coffee date. Another update, active wear update. So I had a meeting with White Fox last week. With a first collection, you never know how much to order, right? Like you yeah. don't know how well it's gonna go. So we ordered X amount and it all left. So I was like, oh, it's fine. Like we'll just get it again and it'll be available for you guys. It doesn't Takes work a long like time. that. So when I got to design my own, I ended up making custom fabrics and custom colors, which means that you can't just like go and grab a fabric roll and then make the tights. Everything is made from scratch. It is the best quality ever. Because it is such good quality and because everything is custom made, it takes a longer time to be produced. The restock of my collection will most likely be dropping in mid-May. And I know that is so far away and I'm really sorry. It's sort of unfair for me to sit down and do this haul of all of my activewear and be like, oh my gosh, this is like all the amazing products that you guys can't get because it's not <laughs> available. So we sort of came to the decision that I will do the haul closer to the restock just so it's yeah. fresh in your 
your mind and you know what items you want to grab. Believe me, there's so much more stuff I need to tell you guys, but I'll tell you closer to the restock. That's not a parking spot. Isn't it? No, it's got red lines on it. There's no parking. This is my car. If you get a fine, I'll kill you dead. <laughs> Let me just say another huge thank you to everyone who did grab my active wear and support me because it means so, so much to me and it was just like so exciting. It's like salt tan. You know, like, oh, you salt. don't watch movies, do you? Stop. Dude, movie quotes. where is my car? I don't know. You it. need to watch this movie you too. You need to shut up in your face. I miss hanging out with girls. This is why I invited Kate for dinner. <laughs> I'm sick of this boy banter. I don't understand it. You're dumb. Bye. And originally I wanted to wear this set because I haven't even got to wear it yet. This is the Vinyasa Flow set, but I gifted her these tights and I have a really strong feeling that she's going to wear them. And I don't really feel like hashtag twinning at the gym, so I thought I would wear the white jasmine set. When you bend in these, they do become a little bit white, but not sheer. So the reason they become white is because we had to print this pattern on white fabric. And that's just something that had to happen if we we're going to do like custom fabrics, if that makes sense. Of course, as soon as I'm gonna to go to the gym, my sister's like, I'm coming over. busy lately with filming and our secret projects and things like that which aren't really so secret anymore as you guys saw the behind the scenes vlogs one thing I love is grocery shopping hashtag domestic princess but we've been so busy that I haven't even had time to like fill my soul and go grocery shopping so we ended up ordering from HelloFresh we were literally sitting in the lounge room it came this morning yeah and the box came <laughs> while we were here which I'm is so happy they pretty much just like deliver you a box with all these different ingredients in the box and different meals that you can make I picked the vegetarian box just because I'm like my plant-based foods right now. I'm hoping that one day they'll make like a gluten-free box because these ones do have gluten and dairy in them but we have done this before and all I had to do was like obviously take out the cheese and the gluten from my section of the dish. We're gonna meet Kurt's brother and his girlfriend for dinner tonight hopefully over at the beach if it's not too windy. So I was thinking we cook two of them. Yeah I think and that's a good idea. That'd beach. be enough wouldn't it too? How many serving sizes is one of these? Um I think we got the two person one but okay. it, it came with like a lot of stuff, so maybe I'm thinking of yeah, yeah, well, yeah, all we of the could do like Oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> You did a poll on Instagram and we need to know we need to find out who the main chef is gonna be and who the sous chef is. I have a good feeling about this. The guys, big dog is gonna be taking a lead on this one if you know what I mean. <laughs> if you guys have betrayed me and picked Kurt to be the main chef, oh, I'll be so happy. You wait, this I'll scene's so gonna happy. go forever because Kurt has no time no, management I'm, skills. I'm an excellent cook. Just come oh. back from our little Shut up, Sarah. Oh my gosh, if I'm the sous chef, I'm gonna be grumpy. On your stories? Okay, ready? Moment of truth. Yeah. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Victory for the curl of us! I'm getting rid of this hat. Say yes. who? The her. Well, you can be the main chef, but at least let me pick the ones because I'm just gonna pick the ones with the least cheese and the least dairy. How do these aprons work? What is this conspiracy? Oh my gosh, I'm sweating. Oh, Guys, so as I always complain, our apartment doesn't have air conditioning. <laughs> We've got the oven on, so it's hot. Oh, and before I forget, I do have a 40% off code of the boxes. I'll put the link in the description bar below, but it's pretty much just Sarah's day at 40. You're welcome. Yours? <laughs> my, I'm master. 
You are grasshopper. <laughs> yes. No. Forward. <laughs> That's me chopping up onion. Cooking with Kurt. Ding there. Oh. When I do the wing. I'll do it one more time. Just one more time, baby. Roast pumpkin, beetroot, and spiced nut bowl. And then secondly, not that one. Mm, that one looks really good, but Ooh. not that one. No. Oh. Crispy Mexican cauliflower and chickpea tacos. And I'll just have it in like a big salad. Let's just do two big salads and then we'll bring those separately to the beach. Go get the ingredients, sous chef. Okay, well, you need to tell me. Okay. I'm so happy I'm the boss. I hate this already. They come in bags like this, but I've already taken some apart to make it fit in our fridge, so. We have to get the ingredients separately. Yeah. Coriander. Yeah. Red cabbage. Yeah. Chipotle spice blend. Chipotle. Chipotle. Yes. Chickpeas. Yes. Garlic aioli. Yes. Beetroot. <gasps> I love beet. One or two? Paprika spice. Oh. <laughs> this is stressing me. I don't like being sous chef. You got it. Well, well done. You're such a good sous chef. Thanks. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. I love cooking with you. <laughs> Get off me, we're wasting electricity. Okay, right, close, close up the fridge. You're just jealous because you don't have a hat. Yeah, I know. Exactly. I don't like not being can the you boss. Please, can you please get the knives out? Oh you have the little knife. <laughs> are you serious? Yeah, you're these, little. By the way, guys, these are my knives that I got for my birthday and they have my engravings on it. They say Sarah on it. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, but you're a really slow reader, so this is going to be slow. All right. <laughs> I'm the captain of this sailboat. You're a nobody. You're a little pleb downstairs, like the rope around, you know, like. <laughs> Can we act like there's a time limit, like my kitchen rule? Um, yeah, read the instructions out loud and I'll, I'll tell you what to do next. Cook the quinoa while the veggies are roasting. Sounds like a good idea to me. <laughs> Kurt, you're still cooking the cauliflower and I've done like four things. No, I'm not cooking it. I'm just cutting it. I am the lead chef. Stop trying to take my role. I didn't rinse it. Ah, uh, well, we can rinse it afterwards. Oh. You know, like, it's like with my kitchen rule. There's always one thing that goes wrong in the kitchen. That stress will we'll, we'll fix that problem. And then they do the bit where they're sitting down and chatting. And you know, in the kitchen, I was stressing and I didn't rinse the kitchen. <laughs> it's not it. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I've been critiquing my <laughs> Cut. Get down. You've ruined dinner. What? Oh. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. <laughs>